Hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124. <clears throat> and welcome back to more Let's Play Mario Party 7. <clears throat> Six boards Grand Canal, Pagoda Peak, Pyramid Park, Neon Heights, Windmillville, Bowser's Enchanted Inferno. <clears throat> These two boards are the two normal boards, all the, the other four let you have the star space, classic style, and then the other four boards have their own ways of getting stars. <clears throat> <clears throat> There's R Battle Royale Free For All, 2v2 Tag Battle, which I'm not going to bother with because it's essentially the same thing as 4-team battle, the only difference is it's two teams as opposed to four. <clears throat> So, since it's the same thing, just more players, more teams in this mode, um, I'm not going to bother with this at all. <clears throat> 15 turn game, all games with bonus. Now, here's some interesting options. I'm not going to ever experiment with them, but it's interesting nonetheless. Easy games, action games, hard games, weird games, and then bonus without bonus. Stupid vehicle outside. <clears throat> now, for the first playthrough of all these boards, I'm going to be using Daisy for every single board. So that's one of the two characters I'll be using to play every single board. Technically, there's a third character as well, but um, it will be for that um, two-player mode. I can't remember what it's called offhand. Solo party. And also, one other thing to mention, Birdo and Darbones are the two unlockable characters of the game. You unlock them in the duty-free shop with party points you earn by playing the game. <clears throat> I have everything that you could possibly buy in the game with party points, so I already have everything in the game unlocked. <clears throat> and have that for years. <clears throat> so, since Mario Party 3 is the only other Mario Party game I played um, outside of my short Super Mario Party videos, and Toad not, was not playable in Mario Party 3, I'm going to put him in here. I'll do Toadette in a different board, because I don't want Toadette and Toadette on the same board. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'll also include Boo. And then for being the first board of my first board playthrough in Mario Party 7 for Let's Play purposes, include Mario himself. There's also Brutal difficulty, which you also unlock that through the Duty Free Shop. <clears throat> Another thing you unlock through the Duty Free Shop is all the characters taunting. You press the L button just like in Mario Party 3 to taunt, but you have to pay for them to unlock them with party points. But yeah, Toad and Boo, since they weren't playable in Mario Party 3 and Mario because it's the, my first board playthrough of Mario Party 7. And your handicap, you can have a handicap. Oh, I thought it was only three. Okay, I think that's Mario Party 8 I'm thinking of then. So you can have up to nine stars for a handicap. I won't. I mean, for fun in the future, I'll probably once in a while. Or maybe for a specific character, I'll like have everyone have nine stars. Now there is one board I will make use of the handicap for just to make it more interesting. But even though I could for the fun of it, I'm not gonna bother. Just play normal. <clears throat> but yeah, four player battle royale, 15 turns all games with bonus, and then those characters. <clears throat> Oh, one thing I haven't mentioned yet that can happen is game capture issues where randomly the video I'm recording will mess up for whatever reason because of my legato and as such the video will end right there on the spot as soon as I notice that the video is messed up and uh, I'll have to start another video after getting out and back into my recording software. Anyway, welcome to the Grand, Grand Canal, the lovely town features the features balloons, waterways, and gondolas. 
Watch out, I'll tell you about this board. For all these first playthroughs, I will. If you reach the star space, you can buy a star for 20 coins. The star will move to another location when someone gets one. What a crafty bugger. Or what a crafty bugger. Watch out for Bowser time. That chap is not the trouble. Sometimes they'll even appear and destroy the bridges. Madness, madness. Alright. Uh, yeah, I go last for the first board. Whatever. First up is Toad, then Boo, Mario, and then me. <clears throat> now I have got a gift for you. Here, ten coins each. <clears throat> Sorry over here, folks. Hurry up now, Pip Pip. If you get there, you can buy it for 20 coins. Capital. <laughs> Girl, I say utterly brilliant. Now it's time to party. Don't move a muscle. Let's party. You get the startle butter sensor. From here on out, I'll skip this, and as long as Bowser's dialogue is the sh same every time at the beginning of every board it should be, I will skip that as well. And he does that at the beginning of every single board, starting off the board with three cubic in spaces. This board is cubic in spaces, there's three for ya! Now, now you can contend with that! Now you can contend with that! Man, I'm so I love it! You gotta love this board's music, it's so good. Has a French kind of feel to it. That's one of the best things about Mario Party games, alongside the gameplay, is the music is so freaking good. <clears throat> Bonus match for this. Oh, and also, I'll show off the pause menu real quick. Controller for the... Uh, basically, who... CPUs and human. You can also, if you want to, uh, change the difficulty of the, the computer players on the fly, which is interesting. Something I found off-screen, messing around. Rumble feature, message speed, minigame instructions, view on or off. Uh, CPU only mini games. Uh, the mic is set to use controller, and then you can also change the type of mini games you play on the fly if you want to. <clears throat> you can also quit if you want, but of course I'm not going to. <clears throat> now, while I would love to, I'm not going to be making use of the pause and return to the main mode and then go back into the game feature. Like, I can do that if I want to. Something's not going in my favor. I can get out of the board playthrough and get back into it to restart a turn. But unlike in Mario Party 3, which I'm going to keep doing, I'm not going to do that in this game. The, reason, the only reason I do that in Mario Party 3 to make sure I win is because in story mode in that game, if you have to, or if you don't get first place at the end of a board, you have to redo that board over all over again. So that's the only reason I do that in Mario Party 3, whereas in this game, Mario Party 3, since it's just a normal board playthrough, and if I lose, I don't have to redo the board, um, because, yeah, again, that that's the whole reason. For Mario Party 3, I do that because of the mention, I, reason I just mentioned, but Mario Party 7, I'm not going to do that, because if I even if I don't get first, oh well, do I want to get first? Of course I do, but if I don't get first, I'm not forced to redo the board playthrough, <clears throat> like in Mario Party 3 story mode. So while I would like to do that, they have to like, do the get out of the playthrough, get back in to restart a turn, to try and keep things in my favor, while I would love to do that, I won't. Mike <laughs> mini game, right, gather up on oh, all no, time for a mic game. <laughs> Very first mini game of the playthrough. Oh great, it's Balloon Busters. Um, by saying that, there's something I didn't think to have up ahead of time.
let me see. I need to find one that has timestamps in the description. Okay, so not back attack. Let me see, come on. Oh, okay, that one. If this next one doesn't have it, then the last one will. Okay, yep. Okay, I thought this was, uh, so I'm right. So, I can now say, now that I've got confirmation of this, this minigame was brought back in uh, Mario Party in the Top 100. <clears throat> um, for the sake of this, I just hit the buttons, but the controls are say bigger into the mic or hit the props with the, on the controller. To inflate the giant balloon and stop, just stop. If the person after you pops the balloon, you win. Bigger and stop. You can't just blow air into the mic or you must say the word bigger. You can blow up to five times during your turn if you want to quit blowing, say stop. Of all the mini games, it had to be this one. Go! <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna want to go for a full five. I think I'm gonna leave it at three. I can see the shadow on the ceiling. I'm taking a chance on this bigger. Okay, stop. That's a bunch of crap. Watch the very next one pop it, too. <sighs> Sigh. Stupid crap. <sighs> yeah, Boo really needs more coins. Good God! Freaking sassy! You know I win. <sighs> That's probably the biggest line of words Daisy's ever said in Mario history. <sighs> All at once, anyway. Just like older Mario Party games prior to this game, if you get uh, mashing numbers on all, all your dice rolls for our mushroom or super stream orb, you will get a coin bonus. <clears throat> I don't want to help Boo. Easy pickings. <laughs> Smash the rock to find gems. One player has a big pickaxe, while the other three have smaller ones. The big pickaxe can smash a rock in one swing, but the small ones can't take three swings. You can't break certain rocks. <laughs> Go! 
I want to help Boo, but I'm not going to let Toe get a free one either. Come on, we need to find some of those other gems. Who needs that for something happened to them? <sighs> I swear if that puts him next to the friggin' star toad. <sighs> Dual boo. Get coins. Come on, Toad. When do you get coins? Get all of his coins. He's already got a star. Why do you lose? You suck. At least he didn't get anything. Because when you do dual games, that's one thing that can happen. You can be win and still not get anything. But it's also better to win and not get anything than lose and lose something to one of your opponents. I was gonna say, inevitably, he'll use that mushroom. Don't get matching numbers. Good. <clears throat> In that thing, Mario just played, you do have the potential to get a star. Let's see. I kind of want to hang on to it for the Koopa Kid orbs, but I'm using it on Mario Space. <clears throat> or the Koopa Kid Spaces. Yeah, I got a good roll. Okay, so 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. It's a blue space either way. What can I buy? I can get him. Super Shroom Orb for 15 coins. <laughs> slow Shroom Orb, but the Vice Block will roll slowly. And I definitely want to say that inspired the Slow Dice Block in Mario Party 9 and 10. I can't remember if there was Slow Dice Blocks in Mario Party, Super Mario Party or not. <clears throat> But yeah, that you can guarantee whatever roll you want. Whether you want to learn to land on a specific space or just get a high roll to get to the star. I kind of want to get this one. This is uh, Daisy's special slash character orb, and Peach shares the same exact orb. So Peach and Daisy both have this one. Spaces ahead of you will change to flower spaces, letting you ignore traps. It's so tempting to get that Super Shroom Orb. If I get that, no one else gets the star, and I win the next mini game. I can almost guarantee getting to the star. Well, I want to get. I really want to get that one for more goings, though. That's the thing. And the Super Shroom Orb is also good. But the name of the game is to get stars, so why want to get. This, the Slow Shroom Orb is the least appealing to me, but yeah, while I want to go for that one, I need to go for what's going to be the best way for me to get a star. <sighs> also, I just realized I should be reading the dialogue of those characters. When they stop putting me with Boo, I don't want to keep helping Boo win. Spray anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, um, three players fire water balls at a lone player who must try to avoid being soaked. 
if you are firing water balls and an ally hits you, you'll be stunned. Check your fire. But yeah, Mario move, and then L and R to circle the ring, and A to fire a water ball. <clears throat> Throw a water ball at him! Go. Water balls! Water balls! SpongeBob reference. Come on, my ball nearly hit him. Oh, oh got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm glad I'm in the running for the Mini Game Star, but Boo's ahead of us because he won the first one and we keep having to get petted along with him. At least it's evening Toad and Mario, so they're lower down the scale for the Mini Game Star if and Toad's worth has it in play. Scroll fast. Yeah, the star's still there. Hmm. Yay. <clears throat> My star, boo. <laughs> 